In London's Haymarket, the Capitol Theatre, which had been acquired by Gaumont British as part of the General Theatre Corporation circuit in March 1928, was transformed into the Gaumont Haymarket. As such, it was reopened on February the 4th, 1937. Whereas the entrance used to be on the northeast corner, W. E. Trent, in his modernization of the building, moved it to occupy the full width of the frontage facing the Haymarket. The Gaumont name and the sign announcing the current program were left on the old corner to face the bustling crowds of Piccadilly Circus. The interior design of the new Gaumont was much simpler than that of the old capital. W. E. Trent used a vertical emphasis in what was really a narrow auditorium. The walls were formed and their blue pilasters were picked out with gold. On each side of the stage, curved recesses contained life-sized sculptured figures. The console of the Compton organ emerged from the right-hand side wall below the statuettes and came into view on a traversing console plinth in front of a rising and falling festoon curtain. The Gaumont seated 1300. The Gaumont closed on the 10th of June 1959 and was completely gutted to become offices above and a new cinema in the basement.